special to me. It ended up raining while the sun was out. And that is precious. <laughs> That's the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not dropping it low and spreading it wide for coffee. Right. So, oh, for our grandparents. But are we going to put more with that mark in that prayer? What action are we going to put in place? I like, I like chilies though, but listen. Right. I'm hearing that people are going Dutch in 2020. Um, the ghetto. Child. Is that, <laughs> the is ghetto. that really? Is that really ha- you let one of my kids tell me they went. <laughs> either either we gone, either you gonna pay. I don't mind it. Or I'm gonna pay. Now if I, I go pay Dutch. Them, I, you better I, enjoy them shrimp, because that's the last one you'll get from me. Okay, but why though? Why though? Because they're the the stereotypes is it's not the same anymore. The way dating goes, or actually gender roles are not even the same anymore. You got women that do way more than men sometimes, and we're supposed to work, we're supposed to take care of our house, we're supposed to take care of the kids, everything, and then the man is supposed to provide. But guess what? You got men, you got single fathers out here too, that are doing the exact same thing. So why not come in equally? Handle your own individual business and going Dutch is okay. Why so, why does it matter? Here's my thing, right? On the first date, so okay, let me back up a little bit, right? So people are messing messing dating up by trying to go on like these super extravagant dates on the first date. And then they don't, they end up not liking the person and then they feel like they've wasted their money, right? So this is where the whole going Dutch thing is coming uh, from. So it was, it was a consequence to... Yes, so that's where that's coming from, right? So first of all, for me personally, I have been doing a lot of online dating in these Rona days, right? So my first date with you... Did you I'm say going, Rona dates? In these Rona no. days... Okay, these rona days. I've been to, oh God, I'm on this online date. I'm stressed out. Okay. Um, I hate it. It's a it's horrible. But anyway, um, so I don't want my first date with somebody to be something that I can't get away from. Okay, because I've been on some terrible first dates, right? So our first date is gonna be either coffee, ice cream, or drinks, and that's it. Okay. But the next date, honey. Um, you, you need to be trying to impress me. Like if this is now like the actual date date, do something to impress me. Show me that you can take initiative. Show me that you can plan a date. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't need to be anything extravagant because me personally, I like, um, local places. I like ethnic places. I like museums. I like different exhibits. So it doesn't need to be this whole extravagant thing. It just needs to be something that's well thought out. So the whole going Dutch thing is a consequence of people not communicating, right? And people not figuring out what their date likes, going on these extravagant, expensive dates with people and then feeling let down because they spent all this money. Okay, we just had a comment and it came from a gentleman. I think he's an older gentleman. And he said, that the band pays on the first date, regardless mm-hmm. of a connection or not. Now, like I just said, I'm 40, and that's the way I was raised. Mm-hmm. The man paid on the first date, regardless. But after being out there dating, I don't mind paying on the second date. I don't mind going sure. Dutch. Now, mm-hmm. what I have, um, what I have started mm, getting into because people are crazy. On our first couple of dates, let's not spend any money. That way you don't have to worry about who's paying. Meet me at the park for a walk. Meet me at BJ's to play some pool. I can buy my drink, you buy your drinks. Let's get somewhere that we can have a conversation so I can see if I want to go out with you on a second date. And then we can decide who's going to pay. Now, I do, even though I say I'll go Dutch, I have to warn you, though. If I'm going Dutch, it's probably because I done lost all interest in you. And I want to be able to walk away from that date and not Damn have it. any kind of... um. Go out, baby. I'm on the phone. Go out. That I don't have any kind of um, obli- I don't feel like I have an obligation to you because mm-hmm. we had a post and that young man said I spent hundred and fifty dollars and he was all upset and I was thinking to myself, oh. why though? 
Why are you not about if one hundred and fifty dollars is something you to pick up? Why did you spend that much? He but didn't spend it because she didn't get the, the drawers after that. But to me, know, that's why. If you spend one hundred and fifty dollars, if you spend one hundred and fifty dollars, that means we go together, right? So. I just like hey. Courtney, just like Courtney. I, I, the bulk of my dating, the bulk of my dating, when I was dating, I'm, I'm, I haven't dated for a couple yes, of years. Tim. It was we met at Starbucks. There was one particular Starbucks yeah. who talked about me, child. They, they was like, "Here come Devin again," because I was leading my own. And I feel your day, child. I made me three dudes and one day at this store on so this patio. And yes. she's going to be there at 6.30. I'm using her at 6.15. And I'm already sitting there with my coffee, so there's no misunderstanding. Because we need to see if we vibe it and all that. And then as we're getting to know each other dating, then we go on a real date because we realize we like each other. We've had several phone calls, et cetera, et cetera. You ask me out on a date and we go on this date. And when it's time to pay, if you look at me and I look at you and I end up paying, we're not going to go Dutch. I'm just going to pay for it because I'm always prepared. I'll just okay. pay for both of them. But then when I leave, I'm blocking your number. I'm blocking you on all social media platforms. And that's yeah. the be, and I'll be out. Don't ask me out on a date if you can't do it. But now when we're in a relationship similar to the one I'm in now, most of the time he pays for the date. But there are many times when we're just there, especially if we bring our children, I'll say, no, I got it. You know what I'm saying? So I pay or he pays. There's usually not a Dutch thing. It's usually because I don't mind paying. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I don't want to take advantage of anyone. But most of the time he does pay. All right, I got up? another question. Since all of us are a little older, none of us are teenagers. Yeah. What is your definition of a date? Because that, that may help also. So, uh, Rue, what do you define as a date? What's a date to you? Well, I'm married. So, <laughs> when we go out on dates, hold, like, I try, usually I'm planning the date. And that's because mm -hmm. I have to be a man. And he's one of those that's just not, not going to be that romantic. And I'm not really that feminine. So, I don't care too much about being like wine and dine. Don't you dare. Oh, <laughs> oh you think it? Yeah, oh. you go ahead. <laughs> 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 you gonna have to make a date to make up for that. <laughs> Anyways, no, he doesn't do the romantic stuff. So like we we like doing stuff like we'll go fishing or we'll go camping. We'll go like most of our stuff is outdoors. His version of a date is to go mountain biking. I'll do it. It's mm -hmm. fine. I busted my ass a couple of times, but it was fun. So our dates are more outdoorsy and uh, and uh, adventurous. We're not gonna okay. really sit and have like romantic candlelight dinners and pay a bunch of money because we got six kids up in here. So nope, that's not happening. Okay, well, Courtney, right. Courtney, yes. what is a date? Courtney, what is a date outside of these Rona dates? We're not gonna go back to Rona. What is a no, normal? Just, what was no, one I, of your dates in twenty twenty one? Wait, let me cut. What's the twenty twenty one date? I didn't say I was going on Rona dates. Absolutely not. Because my answer to everything nowadays is in a pandemic. That's always my answer. Okay. <laughs> yes, my period to everything. So I said Rona days. I'm trying to date. Oh, okay. Okay. Rona okay. Days. okay. Not da yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. No, 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 Thank no. You. No, no, no. Okay. So my 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 definition of a date, honestly, is any intentional time that you guys have carved out to spend together so that you can get to know each other, right? So to me, going to the movies is not a date because I can't talk to you during a movie, right? Mm -hmm. A play, maybe. Museum, I love museum date, museum dates because I love art, right? Um, you know, go come come to your house though. That's not a date, like exactly. No boo boo, I'm not coming to your house. You're not coming to mine. You might be crazy. You might be like, eh, eh, be like buzzing my buzzer trying to get it. Like you don't need to. We don't need to do all of that, right? So, um, something that is intentional, something that is like common ground, something on a neutral ground where you guys have agreed to get together and spend time getting to know each other. That's a date. And don't take me to no Applebee's because I hate Applebee's. I don't mind a two for 20, but just don't do it at Applebee's. <laughs> okay. okay. See, I was asking because I wanted a different perspective. 
Like yes. Courtney appears to be younger. Rue is married. Devin is in a long term relationship. I'm single. And dating to each sector of us is something different. But right. at the core, what I'm hearing is that we're trying to sit down and build a connection or see if there's a connection there. Now, back to our topic. Do you go Dutch? If you're trying to build a connection, do you have to spend money? No. I mean, yes. To build a connection, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's you still gonna be in the house. I don't think that's necessary. We went dark. I think our first date was fishing, and then, yeah, our first date was fishing. We met in the military, so the first time we went out, we were playing cards with friends. We were, you know, at the lake. We were. Uh, I think we went to the movies one time during that whole dating period, and well. That was special to me. I'll say that. The yeah. one time we went to the movies that was special to me it ended up raining while the sun was out. And that... That's precious. Ah, that's the that. notebook. That's <laughs> that's that's that's, yeah. It, you didn't, we didn't have to spend money like that in order for it to be considered a date. It was fun. Yeah. Just filling each other out. I just think if... Yeah. <laughs> Courtney, they laughing at you. <laughs> I like I like chilies though, but listen, bomb margaritas, baby back ribs. Listen, Applebee's just got them fat breaded little chicken nuggets that yeah. I hate. I hate those things. Don't I don't want that. Like no, I don't. But chilies, I like. Okay, but here's yeah, man, would love thing. that. You two for twenty, girl. They could, that's easy. The, here's my thing though, right? It also depends on the type of person that you want to date and the lifestyle that you're going for, right? Because for me personally, I'm a hard worker. I work 60 hours a week. I've worked hard to um, ascend in my career, okay? I don't have time for games. And too many people, at least where I am, I'm in I'm in New Jersey, y'all. Y'all are in the South. So I feel like men are a little bit more gentlemanly down there. It's hard in this concrete jungle, honey, in Jersey and New York. They play all kinds of little games, all kinds of little Tetris games with you. And I'm not here for this. So I need I need some type of collateral. So I need you to spend some type of coin. Come on off of it because at least let me enjoy myself. Don't get me wrong now. My father's from the South. My family's from the South. So, Rue, I love fishing, okay? But being that we're from the concrete jungle, if you try and take me out in the middle of a lake, I don't believe, I don't believe you. I think you're trying to kill me. Like, I think you're trying to drown me. So this is what I'm saying, like, Come up off the coin, make it cute, okay? You know, my makeup. Be, it can be a low budget date, but let put some effort. Yeah. I've seen a lot of these yes. posts where like these men are taking women on picnics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, don't try to be super romantic on our first date, cause then I'm gonna be like Courtney and be like, nah, he's a serial killer. He's trying to drug this time in this. this <laughs> what's what's going on? I'm not. Like I'm not. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm not. But yeah. after we've had a couple of dates. Do a picnic. I have a huge backyard. Let me come yes. home from work. And you've texted me and said, hey, just come to the backyard and let me find a pillow and some blankets and candlelight. I'm good. I'm that's I'm cute. all for that. That's that's fine with me. You don't always have to take me to these super expensive places. But as a caveat, let me under, let me let you understand. If I do suggest one of those restaurants, it's not because I'm trying to get you to spend all of your money. It's just because I take myself there. You have to treat me the same level that I treat myself. Because if I ask you out on a date, I'm going to take you to the same places that I frequent. Yes. I'm not going to take you to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Taking <laughs> me to the lake, baby. Not to the lake. No Jason, no Michael Myers, no, um, what is no. it, Pennywise? None of that. No Jack the Ripper in the alley somewhere. Because we don't have backyards in New York and New Jersey, really. I heard you said the backyard. Just got basement. the backyard. Yeah, like yeah, I got basements. We got we got a front and a back. That's it. Like don't so but yeah, I, I agree. Um like my lifestyle, the lifestyle that I live, I want to be able to maintain that and do better with the person that I'm dating. So if I gotta lower my standards to date you, like my own personal standards, what is the point? Like, why am I even doing this? You know what I mean? So you don't because you don't, I don't, I don't need another child to take care of. Right. Uh, Amen. I don't have no kids. Okay. I'm auntie. I give them back and I will give you back. I would never, I would never get in a dating situation that I wouldn't want my children to be in. Yes. Amen. If my, if my daughter girls. took them on their first date and he made them go Dutch and then I'm going to say, so y'all are talking about, right? 
I know? have her, I have two daughters and one son, and my oldest is 20, so she's the only one dating. But even at 20, your date cannot come up and blow. Your date has to come in the house and introduce himself. Yes. This was something new. The last two guys she dated, they had no idea what that was. One of them had the nerve to text her and say, I've been outside for 15 minutes. She was like, can I go tell him? No, you can't. If he doesn't understand it, he need to bring his behind in the house and say, hello, he needs to drive hello. off. Hello. So then the other one was like, can you meet me? No. I don't know what you look like. I don't know your name. I don't know your age. I don't know your address or your license plate number. You won't be taking nothing about 3021. This is mama's so, fault. That's his mom. His mama and daddy. And my son, my son, I'm I'm doing the best I can with my son. My son is 15. 14. He'll be 15. Um, and if they come up to get her and they don't come in the house, he'll stand in the door and he'll be like, uh-uh. You don't want anybody in this house. And when yeah. I date, he when I finally let him meet the men that I date, he greets them with a handshake. Now, being a Sarah, um a single mom, I don't date that often. Uh, Kendrick just asked that we were all single. I'm single. I don't date that often. I work 50, 60 hours a week. I'm doing finishing my master's, my second degree. So I don't, I just I don't date that often. But when I do, um, I date for a period of time before my children meet them. But my kids know my standards. They know, okay, if mama letting us meet him, it must be something there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, by that time, if they're meeting my kids, we went Dutch or I pay for a date. So. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, my kids didn't meet anyone either. It took a took a long time. They may know of them because they're my children are nosy, so they may see a name in the phone or something. But as far as oh, girl, seen, don't you hate when your text messages go off and they look and be like, "Who is that? Get out my phone!" <laughs> my <laughs> <own> business. <laughs> when, I got caught, when we had a house phone, the ID, you know how the call ID come up on the TV? Yeah. In my oh. phone, I had him as coworker with his name, coworker Smith. The name came across the TV, and my son said, "Why he calling you? I didn't ask you to read. I didn't ask you to say nothing to me, <laughs> Mama. He called three times. You don't know who that is. He, no, you don't. Somebody, I know that name. No, you don't. That could be somebody trying to install cable. Mind your business. <laughs> my son, I always taught him that he's never to do Dutch on the first date. You know, before he took a little girl on a date, I would pick her up, give him cash, let them sit, make sure he pays. She better not." Be expected to pay a dime, but that's just how I raised him. But you know, as you said, I am Southern. I'm old school, you know, and that's just how it goes. Now, once they're in a relationship, yeah, she's supposed to pay sometimes because that's yeah. just that. that's selfish to expect someone to pay for you all the time and do for you all the time. That's that's just selfish because most people don't have men who pay all the bills and all that stuff. Like there's just a different time right now. You need, you know, mm -hmm. to one half and half. But as far as but blowing for my daughter outside to me is indicative of how she, she's going to be treated during the relationship yeah which will be a problem <laughs> so we're not going to do that anybody got any other thoughts or opinions on this going dutch i think everybody agrees that when we first start dating yeah i don't yeah. want to go out but I mean, I get the whole chivalry is not dead, especially in 2020. So I can see how it can be expected of a man to still pay. But these dudes is crazy. They think if you buy a two dollar drink that they own you now. So, yes, you know, I'll pay for my own shit. Thank you. <laughs> because I'm not dropping it low and spreading it wide for coffee. So uh, we, that's what we're not going to do. Uh, so <laughs> let me buy this. Okay. Macchiato myself and go. No, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna do that. So.